what to do, what to do, stop boy D, blockchain financing value. And today I'm bringing you a project I am bullish on. This looks pretty good. I like the art. Um, it looks like it's a collect to earn and role play on the Kodani blockchain called Chains of War. I'm going to get into this, guys. And as you can see already, it's got there was some sort of orc kind of vibing characters and some that look like speedy assassin sort of characters. And yo, this looks all right. Like from I have the quick quick look into it, you know, it looks all right. But we're going to break this down. So it's going to be ten thousand NFT heroes roam the vicious world of Tayera, collect, earn, and role play on the Cardano blockchain. So as you can see, guys, this art looking pretty crisp and looking pretty good. Um. I can't really fault a lot of it. I mean, we'll get into the story. So 73 years following the reign of the stars catastrophe, whatever that is, while the regime of the Duxa Empire rules the oxygen-deprived world of Terra with an iron fist, a young Hadaki miner discovers a mystical device that sets him on a path that could change the fate of his people. So these are the clans. I'm looking at, I'm guessing that's a Hedaki. Um, just guessing. But he does look a bit angry, so he could be evil. So there's four species there. Five things. So obviously the human. The elf. Looking from the ears. Guessing this is an Hedaki. I think this is a Uthanaki. So claim your hero. So have a look here. So 3D based heroes, large fantasy world, story driven, male and female heroes, thousand unique traits, four species, multiple clans and tribes. So if we just have a look at the art guys here, like look how, I'm going to call him an orc. Look how detailed he is. The wrinkles on the skin, like even just a little, I don't know if that's blood on the axe, but even the, the scratches on the helmet, like these look really good in my opinion. See if we can. No, you can't do nothing. These look awesome. Like, look at like, this one looks sick. Don't know what this kind of axe, small little axe knife thing is. The axe knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Like, they look, the art looks good. Like, like no one can tell me this art don't look good. Like, I'm impressed and I'm surprised. And the fact that it's going to be like a utility game, yeah. I'm bullish on this. I can't say I'm not. I am very bullish on this project. So what is Chains of War? Chains of War is building a neo fantasy world on the Cardano blockchain. The world of Terra is inhabited by a vicious species and shaped by historical events, cultural complexities, social structures and macroeconomic systems follow the journey of the talisman as the world of Terra is revealed. Okay, so when is it? So it's minting on April the 29th at... Wow, 2 p.m. UTC. The Eros collection, 10,000 unique NFTs is planned. In preparation for this collection, NFTs such as artworks, maps, and scripts will be released. Okay, so we have to keep our eye out for that sort of stuff and to see how that looks on the game and to see how it's going to play into the game. Um, I'm just surprised that it's um, at 2 o'clock. I really am. Normally, they're around six and wait for people to get home and wait for people to mint, but two o'clock that seems really early for me. Um, yeah, so whitelist. Uh, so, yes, there is a whitelist taking place. It's probably going to be a grind. I'm not interested in grinding on whitelist. Um, all chains of war heroes are unique. Rarity will be based on the uniqueness of the variety of characters and traits among gear, weaponry, social stats classes and gaming stats rarity charts are published after the drop and will be made publicly available okay just as usual so the world of terror what's coming so the world of terror is being created with a rich law 2d and 3d artworks macroeconomics social structure heroes and foes all based on epic sagas as told in the books of chain of war we aim to create a solid foundation and thriving fan base after which blockchain functionalities such as asset holder rewards, hero modification, role-playing gamification, tokenization, and merchandising will conceivably be integrated. 
So you can see they've got big plans. Um, we'll get into the team, see if we think the team can do it. But you see they've got big plans. Um, I mean, here, role-playing, gamification, tokenization, and merchandising. So they obviously want to release a token, um, which if you probably hold the NFT, you might get a free airdrop if it goes well. So who's behind the project? Uh, let's have a read. Who's behind the project, shall we, guys? Yeah, let's have a read, guys. So the core team are a group of friends who are inspired by fantasy franchises such as Lord of the Rings, World of Warcraft, and the Elder Scrolls. The Chains of War project began with the creation of Terra, our own lore, background stories, and artwork. The blockchain and NFTs offer us a platform to create a community, raise funds, and be on the forefront of blockchain, blockchain utilization. This gives us an amazing opportunity to really build our fantasy world. The team members are expected are experienced in modeling, video editing, developing, merchandising, branding, and licensing project management, storytelling, and legal affairs support all wanting to add value to the Cardano space and utilize the blockchain possibilities since most of the members have experience in working with blockchain within their profession. When, re when required, additional team members with specific knowledge and experience in the Cardano NFT community have been recruited. Okay, that's not too bad. So, so from the look of it, it's a small team um, and they're trying to do big things. And it looks like there's ongoing possibilities to maybe work with these guys on building the project. So if you've got any sort of knowledge, jump in the Discord, holler them, and see if you can actually become a part of the project. Like, why not? Like, is Tira a metaverse? So Chains of War is creating a digital world with 3D assets that are meant to be interoperable. The metaverse is like the internet. There is only one of them but access to it is offered by various providers. Digital information such as chains of war assets are interchangeable. These can be avatars, mounts, constructions, or even a complete open world like Terra. However, currently we have no plan to sell plots of land. So is chains of war a metaverse? No. Is chains of war part of contributing to metaverses? Yes. Are the heroes compatible with the metaverse? The current 3D models we've designed for our NFTs are too high quality to be directly used in the metaverse environment. The empowering phase will be all about adding utility. We are working with a metaverse providing partner to create avatars of our models, models that can be airdropped and used in the metaverse. Bullish. So they're creating this whole, the whole world, which you're not gonna be able to buy land on or anything like that from a look of things. But you're going to be able to sell NFTs and it's kind of going to act like a metaverse, but without buying the land from what I can see here um, or from what they've said. So, but they are linking up with somebody and is working with a metaverse providing partner. Bullish. So they could have one, but all the, all what they may do is what I've seen a couple of other companies do is just buy land in another metaverse. So buy land in like Pavia or Unbounded Earth and then just make your stuff in there. Like, Makes sense. So will there be a token? We know there will be a token. So yes, in the empowering era, tokens called Mira will be released. These tokens will be essential for adding various utilities during the gamification phase as part of the play to earn system. So you are going to get a token with this. So what is the game about? Now, the problem with a lot of these games is that they're all releasing tokens and it's up to us as investors to find which tokens we're going to be bullish on um, and which games we're going to be bullish on. This looks pretty good in terms of art, but I need to see some more sort of gameplay or something which which is going to make me a solid investor or minter. So the game is about going on adventures, completing quests and battling others, uh, play, versus, play versus environment, play versus player. Your NFT hero has stats fixed into its metadata, such as strength, stamina, and speed. Another important fixed factor is the class of your hero, which is based on the social structure of the species. For example, a warrior has higher strength stats and performs better in close range co combat than pale alt, a religious class. Have, have a special have a special ability spellcasting. Your hero's abilities and statistics determine the strategy you will want to play. 
Besides the class and basic stats, your equipment will add stats for damage and defense. Although your gear is initially attached to your NFT hero, in the gamification phase, it will be possible to upgrade your hero with gear as you play the game. Bullish. So it basically just kind of looks like, um, just like a game, like where you can level up, just like a standard normal game where you can level up really, but it's on the blockchain. But it does look pretty good. So how do I, how do I know my NFTs are real? <laughs> like all chains of war here is minted under the same ID policy, as we all know what they do with the ID policies. There they are. So let's look at take a look at the roadmap. So we've got the conception and establishing the team, which they're past. We've got the NFT and the storytelling. This bit, these look a bit cheap, these things here. Maybe I'm being a bit too meticulous. So empowering the holder rewards and tokenization, I would like you to go into more of what are these holder rewards? Because it makes, to me, it makes investing a bit more of a gamble, but I do get it because if we look at what's happened with Ball Club, Ball Club have been saying for a long time, oh, you're going to get the chips, you're going to be able to choose the chips, you're going to be able to choose the chips. And it has took them ages, right, to pull the finger out and actually get this sorted. I strongly believe because it has took them that long to get that project up and running in terms of, being able to use the chips to corrupt the Borgs, it's lost interest. Nobody's interested. And that's why the floor is not running up. When you look at stuff like Chill Kongs and they drop the mushrooms and Chill Kongs just went from like 500 floor price to 1,000 floor price, why is it Borg Club doing something similar? Because the, because the interest has died. That is my opinion. I'll hold my Borg and I'll, you know, see what happens. But... um. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I'm selling mine after the crux of chip, um, after the utility for it, because I think the, I don't really think it has just died down, um, the interest. So we've got the game of quest, the game, the gamification. So the questing and NFT forge. So let's meet the team. So they got a nice sized team. Look at the art there, guys. So we've got Drago Mani, management and blockchain, Zia Hadaki, creative merchandise. I might even say these because they're not the real name. Video and Gamify. Has he got a Twitter? Let's have a look. Oh, they've all got Twitters. So you can also, you can actually come and check these guys' Twitters out and stuff. I ain't got time for that right now because I'm doing it halfway through this. So the top three guys. Then you got the story, um, sociology, and you're the wise, legal and licensing. Hilly, two day artists. Xanthum, Artist Motion, and Carcass, 3D Artist. Oh, and as I said here, they are hiring. Partner with NFT Calendar. So yeah, guys, you can actually shout them. Like, shout them out. Are interested in collaboration, joining the team or community roles, contact us via our Discord or Twitter. Go do it. Like, we'll have a look at the Twitter. So they're following 178 people. Um, and as you can see, there's 1,528 followers. So not a huge amount in the Cardano blockchain. I'd like to see a bit more. But it is what it is. There's still time, obviously, to build the interest. The art looks good. Um, so I don't see why the interest can't be pumped up. The mint is April the 29th. We've still got ages yet. So, yeah, I don't see why not. But when we look, let me look at this guy. I don't know if a laser comes out of there or what. That looks a bit too heavy for his head. But outside of that, yo, it looks sick. Like the art, guys. Like when we take it, just look at the art itself. Like, look, you can't, you like, I won't mind some of these as a profile pic. I'm not really too fond of these guys because they just look like orcs. But I get it. And this is a giveaway that we're doing. Come up with your best name. So what would you call this? I don't know. Sharpner the Gutterer. That was awful. So, and they're also collabing uh, with Ada Visitors. Not interested in that project. Ada Invaders, yeah, Ada Visitors, no. Again, look at some of the art, guys. The art's wicked. 
on fire. Right, yeah, so have a look, guys. Go and have a, have a look at the project. Um, so blockchain finance and value. Like and subscribe. Hope you like the breakdown. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's just have a quick gander on the Discord. So as you can see, when this decides to load, boom! Oh no, you've only got so you've got nine hundred eighty-one members, two hundred fifty-five online. Not great numbers, um, if I'm being honest. But we still have got a long time to get this up, bump this up, see what we can do. Um, I'll accept that actually because I do. I am interested in this project. Project. Uh, so yeah, guys. But anyway, that's the project for you. Um, Stop, boy D. Like and subscribe. We're gonna have a lot more videos for you like this, just breaking down future upcoming projects um, or any other projects. If you guys want me to break down any projects at all, you know, put a comment. Nobody's commented yet. Um, I don't understand what, what 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 what's wrong, guys. You know, talk to me, talk to me. So yeah, but blockchain finance and value. Like and subscribe. Peace.